Hello and welcome back to Skyopolis 4. We are uh, in uh, we are in our base like always. Uh, <laughs> so let's turn the UI back on. Uh, so I've done a little work work offline. Uh, I've expanded out the engineering side of my uh, my base to give me more room because we're about to build some bigger stuff. And this is a mechanical crafter, and it is. Uh, it is pretty insane, actually. Uh, we uh, we're gonna make a crushing wheel with this thing, and uh, I, it's gonna take a little bit to get all these all these things in. Uh, I don't think it's aut there's an automatic way to do this, but it's you can put them in all like that, right? And then you just need to take out the ones that you don't want, <laughs> and then replace them with uh, the correct blocks. So it's the uh, this one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So stone goes in there. So of course, I put too many in. And then, like so. All right, that looks right. Let's uh, double check that. Uh, and so I've I've been m messing with this whole mod for a little bit, uh, trying to figure it all out, and it is uh, quite a uh, quite crazy. All right, I made a. Uh, what is it called? Uh, it's back here. I made a furnace with a flywheel attached. Uh, furnace engine is what it's called. It seems to be the best uh, type of furnace you can make. Uh, so <laughs> it took a while to get this. It was it, you had to do uh, several sub combines on the little uh, a little lower version of this giant uh, contraption, but uh, I finally got it working. So let's take out this. Uh, this one runs like it's a furnace. Uh, it has to have be burning something. So that's uh, that is something that you have to deal with. Uh, let's do <laughs> let's cheese it and do logs. There we go. All right. Hopefully we can get here in time. And you can see all the items start to move once you power it, and then they uh, kind of co converge together to make the. Sh Make the item, which is a uh, mechanical crafting uh, wheel. I'm gonna say uh, crushing wheel is what it is. And uh, yeah, this thing is uh, is very important actually. I was gonna skip it and go straight for the uh, crushing uh, the crushing one, but it looks like there's unique crushing recipes for this thing. So, um, yeah. So this is gonna be something we're gonna set up here shortly, and it, it's gonna. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to set up some conveyor belts and get this thing set up all nice and cool. Uh, we're going to use the furnace again. Uh, I'm going to have I'm going to have to figure out how to automate that, but that's going to be a thing we're going to have to do. Uh, I don't think there was actual anything for that, but I, I made a brass plate. Um, I made a kinetic uh, dynamo. kinetic dynamo. Yeah, I can't talk today. Um, I have all the parts for a metal press, which we're going to make here in a second. I uh, made some blink runes. Uh, blink runes actually are how you make ore. And uh, I have a I have a little uh, blink rune uh, builder over here using uh, the water. I had to separate it so the ender hopper thing won't, uh, won't steal everything on the ground. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so here's all the ores I've collected in uh, quite a while. <laughs> it's a literal quite a while. I mean, I'm talking, talking a crazy amount of time. Uh, it's lots and lots of dust to make these. Uh, but this is not even the next. This is not even. This isn't even the top tier generator yet. Uh, the next one is called or or Orchid. Orchid. <laughs> Orchid. Yeah. Uh, which is a mana flower. Uh, which will take it's a flower that takes mana from botania and generates ore I have no idea how it works, but it consumes our fluid. I've already I think I've already duped it But we're gonna eventually gonna have to unlock botania. I haven't unlocked any of that yet So we'll have to do that to make that flower uh, Yeah, and I did, I did get a, a diamond and emerald ore from the uh, From this thing here. We got a chest full of <laughs> everything we just made so uh more dust and some blink runes 
And we got a blink token, which I had actually made one over here. So... Okay, spawn captured mom. Okay, that's different than what I was making. I was trying to make a token and I got a I got a different thing. So that's it. That's cool. <laughs> I'll just drop it in there. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Uh we don't need any more of that. And the coins can go somewhere else. But we're gonna take these diamonds. Actually, we can leave the diamonds in there. The crushing uh the crushing wheel will actually generate more diamonds uh, than uh, smelting it directly. Uh, crushing stuff. Here, let's see if I can. Uh, yeah, crushing. So they, it seems to have like uh, some decent recipes, right? So crushing diamond ore will give me this on a percent chance rate, right? I think it's guaranteed two with a chance at another one and that. So. Uh, it goes through like all the ores and all the all the stuff and then I think we got horse armor early on we can crush that here and I don't think I can I can smelt it down for one of those or I can crush it for all of that so uh, that's kind of where we're going uh, yeah and there's a redstone first but the crushing facility the, this other one here the crusher note was not listed there so uh, we, we might have to leave this, uh, this machine running for the rest of the pack with all the stuff we're going to be crushing. But with that said, uh, let's see here. What else did I finish? Uh, we got the blank token, got another coin for that. I did some useful items. I made a iron wand. That's how I built this pad. I upgraded to speedy hoppers. Uh, so those are like extremely fast. You can see, I think these are speedy hoppers right here. You can see how fast they're, they're bound by the speed of the generator at the moment. Uh, well, I think the, the gold one is actually keeping it up, but the tier three versus tier four, the iron, uh, cobble gen cannot, uh, generate it fast enough to keep the hopper full. And it's just constantly streaming into there. The ender hopper picks up uh, the the dust, gravel, and uh, flint. I think, yeah, flint. I void off at this point the gravel. Uh, I have way too much gravel, so that's just it's getting voided. <laughs> uh, dust goes into an ender chest and goes to the other side of the base to uh, be processed, and. I don't really know how it decides which pipe gets dust, but it seems to be just like totally, uh, totally random. And these are like full. I don't, I don't know what to do with all the items yet. So I've just been filling barrels and just chaining them on. <laughs> it's, it's the only thing I can do. But when, when there's more, uh, dust in the system, it kind of distributes them more evenly. So I think it just, whoever gets it first gets it kind of thing and that's been uh, working fairly well for me uh, let's drop that in there we need a lot of steel still all right oh we still have quests that we didn't complete which ones uh we got a coin for something not sure what but we got a coin uh let's see here yeah so let's go ahead and build the metal press uh I think I can have all the stuff ready for that. So that's like, uh, here it is. Here, let's do immersive. All right, so it's one heavy block, uh, two conveyor belts. Uh, I think it's a, like three of those. And uh, so I made the windmill and the water wheel from immersive engineering also we'll do those shortly uh i think it's one redstone block what else is it it's like a hopper so we got two of those piston that's it <laughs> uh, and that's not even from this mod so piston there we go piston Bye. Yeah, the cobblestone that I have never 
comes up in the uh, system over there. I don't even have enough in this over here to do that. Let's go over to my... Uh, I have another cobblestone generator over here. Let's grab like three stacks of that. Let's go like there. Grab the piston and then put the rest of that into the uh, system right there. We're going to build the metal press. Oh, we picked up all that gravel. Hold on a second. So you can put gravel in a uh, millstone and get flint, and then you can take the flint and put it back in and get uh, dust. <laughs> kind of tedious, but uh, it is uh, not that bad. Okay, so we need the projector. Go ahead and grab that. I don't know why my system says I have two of things. It uh, seems bugged. I want to move to uh, the next the next thing as soon as possible. All right, crusher. This is the metal press. There we go. Confirm. Confirm. Uh, I turn this thing around. Rotate. <laughs> Mirror. I don't want it facing that way. So here, let's just look at it. It is a uh, redstone block in the center, two metal uh, sc or steel scaffolding, a piston, two of those, and the heavy engineer block at the top. All right. That is okay by me. So two of these, this. I just realized I had my fan on and it was creating extra noise. So I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully it didn't ruin everything. All right, let's move this. It's like right here. Let's have, uh, I think one space in the back should be fine. If not, we can move it later on. So we need these facing the same way. So this one needs to go that way. That one going that way. And then doesn't matter which way it's facing. And then we can jump up here. There we go. So it's it is made, but we need uh our engineering hammer. There we go, and we can we can rotate that. It's not rotating. Hmm. There's a maybe a wrench for this. I remember in uh, Sky Bees I could rotate it. Ah, uh, see here. I thought the hammer rotated it too. All right. Well. I guess that's not a thing can do at this point in time. So let's just go right here, like so. There we go. And we have the metal press. Uh, it requires uh, power, which we do not have yet, so we can't use it. Uh, so that's why we have the windmill. And we have the uh, water wheel. We're going to try those out and uh go from there uh let's go ahead and build out the rest uh no we can't do those yet uh let's do the engineering table that seems like an easy one to build real quick and i had already built the engineering crafting table so it's just an easy combine and we'll pop this thing down like right right here there we go and because we're going to be doing a lot of this i think we'll be in this <laughs> we'll be in this this uh, pack for quite a while. All right, we need an engineering blueprint, which is uh, blue dye. Ah, I don't know if we have any blue dye. Let's see here. Nope, we don't have any kind of blue dye. Oh, we do, actually. Lapis. I was just saying we don't have lapis. That is, that is, <laughs> that is fun. We have lapis. I know what we do. Here, let's go down here. I'm not really happy with this uh, storage system. 
It's, uh, I remember I used it in, uh, one of the other packs. Uh, I think it was like Sky, uh, Sky Odyssey. There's Lapis right there. Uh, not Sky Odyssey, um, Sky Factory. And it worked out pretty well, but I was using the, uh, son of a gun. I was using, uh, the, what you call it, pack. Uh, let's drop all that off. There we go. I was using, what is it called? Uh, drawers, and you could put like, you could mainly put six items in, and you could get, uh, you could get everything you needed. And it, they worked really well, but for some reason, it does not seem to be working as well right now for me. Because I'm getting like, it says I have like more items than I actually have. Like, it says I have 25 copper plate. I actually did that time. Uh, six of these four balloons see and then i got two yeah so it's just weird i don't know i don't know how many you actually have until it comes out i got 16 of those i hate so there's something something fishy going on i don't know what it is all right so that should give us blueprint oh we need more paper so that's paper let's just make a few we're gonna probably have to make more uh, blueprints anyway all right, we got a blueprint, metal press molds. So let's just put that in there. It shows us how to make all of the molds and stuff, and we'll have to make those to even use the metal press. Uh, so here is the next journey. All right, we got that one. We already made plates because we went th this route through create. So we got that. Improved blast furnace. Uh, I don't think I made these blocks, did I? Yeah, it's 27 of those. I mean, I could take apart my blast furnace. I think it's 27 blocks, right? And then I don't think I have 27 steel. No, I don't have 27 steel. So that's that's a, that's that's ended right there. Uh, we'll have to get more steel. And then the crusher. I didn't have enough steel to make all of the... Uh, all of the parts for this one either. I do have everything else though, so we'll have to do that again. All right, so uh, the windmill. Let's let's try to make a windmill. I'm not. I'm I'm skeptical. It's going to be useful. So we're going to do. Um, let's see what kind of bricks do we have? Stone. All right, twenty six should be plenty, and then we need. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like, I already made it. It's a, uh, yeah, this kinetic, uh, dino, diam, diamino, diamino. I can't, I can't talk today. Uh, we get that and, uh, we're going to do the windmill first. I think I have another one of these in another box somewhere. We can do, uh, do it uh, the water wheel. So power goes in on the top of this thing. I have no idea what that red dot is. I think it's like a redstone signal. But uh, what we'll do is we'll get a... Uh, can we make, make them now? It's like a hopper. It's like a chest box that you can drop stuff off the, the belt. Uh, I don't see it. I'll have to find it. But we'll eventually make it so we can kind of automate it by just put what we want in there. Kind of kind of like we did in the... Uh, the sky, uh, sky bees. So let's do, let's do like this. And then let's go up like one more. I have no idea what I'm building, so. <laughs> Just trying to get it up higher. There we go. All right. So this thing uh, somehow connects. I'm not sure what way it's going to face, right? Or if it matters. There's a hole there. And that's the... I think that's the side we need right there. So let's do... Let's 
Yeah, let's just break it. There we go. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Almost had it. All right, let's grab some more blocks. Uh, I don't have any more bricks, do I? I got cobblestone bricks. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna. Re I want to replace it all with scaffolding once I uh, once I figure out how this all works. Oh, it's son of a gun! It's the other side. Oh, did it fall in the void? Jeez, I need to get one of those uh, magnets. That is uh, that's been a real. I've been losing a lot of items. All right, there we go. So we place this down there. Uh, that's the, where the power comes out, I believe. I've never used this before, so just making it up as we go along. Uh, let's make a block out this way. Come on. There we go. The, this weird, uh, whatever lets you place blocks like this is a little weird at times. All right, so this is a huge, uh, a huge windmill. Uh, it's, it's pretty good size. I remember, uh, there we go. And blocks actually stop it from working. There we go. All right, the windmill is going. It's generating no power. Windmill sail. Do I need to, like, put that on there? Oh, do I? use on that recipes on that hmm. again this is something that it gave me there we go I'm gonna have to make one of those for each blade I guess all right that looks cool though I mean we got it going at least so there's that now we need wire <laughs> so how do we get the wire how do we get power from the windmill to this? And I believe it's these things, a wire relay. Uh, but I think I was limited on, uh, I didn't have any terracotta. And coil. Do I have any coil? No, I don't have any coil. Yeah, I don't have any of the required stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to farm a little bit more resources. I was uh, I was completely out of clay and I forgot how to make more, so I need to make more, more clay, uh, and then I'll we'll get this thing wired up and we should be good to go. But uh, I think we'll just call the episode there. I gotta generate more uh, resources and that's gonna take take a little time it's uh the bottleneck seems to be the smelting of things uh i can I hate running by that thing i can make the charcoal every so often but it's not enough to uh like write home about you know it's runs out very very quickly so yeah <laughs> let's go ahead and call it there i'm going to uh get the rest of the power sources going uh we, uh, we've unlocked diamond and emerald. Uh, we're working towards the arc furnace. That's really what we're working towards. Uh, I would like to get Fluxnet working so I can just put a plug on the back of these things and do that. But Fluxnet seems a little complex. Uh, so it's, I have like all of the powder, except maybe obsidian powder. So I'll have to crush that, but you have to use the mixer. So we'll have to figure out how to automate that. And then flux cores, same recipe. And flux blocks, same recipe, but it looks like we get a bunch of free uh, free stuff. Uh, this one looks like just, oh wait, that's glass. There we go. So it's just flux blocks. So we should be able to get through this pretty easily. But yeah, I would like to do that and just move to wireless power instead of uh, actual, uh, wires i think that's how it works i don't know of any other way that it would work because <laughs> it's got a whole system for wires and stuff it's got the coils it's got wire relay wire connectors and all kinds of stuff so uh, i'm gonna get prepped for all that and then next episode we will continue working our way uh this way 
and maybe this way. <laughs> and there's some more stuff down here we need to do. Uh, I think this one here, this uh, compression dy dy dynamo, will let us take the oil and generate power from that. And that's probably like the going to be the best power we can generate with immersive engineering. Uh, that's just my thoughts right now. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, then we have to make that to even make the arc furnace anyway, because that blueprint is makes this. So there we go. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.